Hi everyone, this is Sinan from Car Inspected and uh, today we're in Chateaugay, which is uh, about 40 minutes drive from Montreal. We're taking a look at this 2013 F250 Super Duty. That's a 6.2 gas V8. Starting with a walk around, it's a workhorse, so you can see. Um, the car's got 80 some thousand kilometers on it. We're gonna verify that in a second. It's got two sets of keys. I talked with the owner. Um, they will be changing some lights, whatever's burnt, and uh, they'll verify the brakes and um, tires, as you can see, Toyo open country manufactured in 2019 right there some scratches and dings obviously i mean the car is not new but for an 80,000 kilometers or around 50,000 miles that's not bad i've done a paint thickness verification the paint thickness is it varies from panel to panel to be honest so, but I'll show you how I found out that uh, at least the majority of the panels are, are original. So, zoom. You can see the undercarriage. Some surface rust, obviously. Front differential there. You can see the steering assembly. Some surface rust as I'm walking around, as you can see. Chrome is pretty good, got some dings here. So, uh, your manufacturing date of this specific truck, it seems like it's May 2013. So that's not bad. Interior, well, for a workhorse, it's, uh, it's it's pretty good. Steering is a little worn, as you can see. And uh, I was told that there is a second key. So just put it in the ignition. You saw the mileage there. 83,000. Windows in the back, they work. And the front as well, both sides. Some of these trucks come with uh, modified mirrors, so, and a lot of times the mirrors won't work, but in this case, they're both working. So that's, uh, that's a nice plus. Turn on the lights, put the hood. And uh, I'll do a computer scan while we're waiting. So I'm gonna pause the video for a bit after I show you the after I show you the engine bay. Battery's been recently replaced. Charging is good. Idle is nice and smooth, but I'm told that one of the idler pulleys or a tensioner is making a noise when it's hot when the engine is, is warm, power steering is full, coolant is good, brake fluid is good. I checked the oil as well. You can see the headlights are working. I'll pause for a second while I plug the computer. All right, here we are back now. We're just gonna do a quick OBD scan first let it do its thing leave the door uh, window open just in case tire wear is even there's the uh, u-joint or universal joint yeah the stabilizer link there some bushings, you can see some bushings, the rubber is getting a little bit old.
You can see the rotors are nicely worn, evenly worn. There's no scoring or anything like that. It's a little bit. You can see the, the pads in the back are almost finished. The ones in the front, there is some about the same condition as the rears. And again, pads. See, less than 50% in the front. All right. Monitors incomplete. There are six codes found zero monitors incomplete is either because the car has had its battery replaced or it's been sitting for a long time um, or the codes have been recently deleted so now let's go in to the Ford software there we go and we're gonna run the Ford scan it's gonna take a second. Automatic selection. Let me see if it will pick it up. Six point two. Yeah, it picked up the right car. That's nice. Let's see, while it's loading, let's see here. Yep, AC is working. Nice. Uh, we'll let it do an auto scan now. We'll come back. You can see the the truck is. It looks solid. It's 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 not in a bad shape. But I'm just highlighting some damage there. See the Ford logo. That's how I know that this panel is original. But I do see scratches on the bolts here, the ones that hold the hood in place. Someone took out the hood for some reason, I don't know why, but the hood is original. And you can see there as well. This is original Ford. Little scratches there, the paint, the... Uh, The uh, clear coat is worn off. Some scratches here as well. Some dings. I don't know if you picked that up. It's right there. Something is torn. And it's on both sides. This is the same on both sides. The uh, seat anchors for the child seat. So the owner is aware that this car might go into another province and it would need to pass a, a more strict inspection, so to speak. So uh, they're going to be taking that into consideration when they do their inspection and their replacements, whatever needs to be replaced, which in this case, it seems like it's brakes. You can see a little bit of rust in here. Here. But this one is not perforated. This one is a little. Eh, I don't want to press too hard. Well, actually, it's, I am pressing, but it seems like it's surface. No, it's not. Alright. Well, no car is perfect. Here. Got some light missing here. Got the spare tire. It's a BF Goodrich. I think it's the original. You can see the wood. There is a, a piece of a couple of pieces of wood missing. Now you can see them here. But you don't see them there. Not sure why. Worth worth a question. There's the light on this side. 
handbrake cables. You can see they're attached. Chassis seems to be fine. Driver's side. It's almost the same scenario here. Let's see where we are at the scan. Powertrain control module, there are two codes. Let's see what's going on. Fan control circuit, fan speed sensor circuit, no signal. You can pause the video and take the numbers there, the red numbers, for reference. Anti-lock braking. Let's see what's going on here. There's no warning lights or anything on the dash, so that's that's good. Oh, you have the TPMS or tire pressure monitor light that is blinking. It's right there. So here we have ABS pump motor control and ABS power supply. Voltage related again. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, the battery was replaced recently. Turn off the AC, save some gas. We've got a quarter tank. Gauges seem to work. Right side deployment control, driver seat belt sensor. These are um, service codes left side airbag deployment control and right side airbag deployment control um, you might want to take a look uh, look into these codes that does not necessarily mean that an airbag has been deployed uh, it could mean that the deployment controller or the sensor is faulty but again no uh, no warning lights there and in some cases in some cases actually I'm just turning on and off the ignition just to cycle to see if the airbag light does come on and it did so that means the system is online change required but I checked the oil change I checked the oil and the oil was recently done cruise control is working I'll check the media I'll check uh, if there is a availability of a phone Radio doesn't come on, that's strange. Microphone input, lost communication with the radio. So, uh, hmm, interesting. And what else do we have? Pass, HVAC, heating, ventilation, read codes. Sorry, it's a little bit slower than uh, the normal. It's just it takes a few presses to get the codes for each system. Uh, the air conditioning, it's just cycling the doors. Just doing a quick test. It smells like it belonged to a construction 
some sort of a construction worker or construction work battery voltage here so it's not it's not really a parking aid module the radio is okay so parking aid module is most likely um, voltage related and transfer case this one is an important one so let's see we'll go back to the other one continuous vacuum hub lock yeah okay well I mean these are the car's got 83,000 kilometers on it so let's go back these were the last bits so parking eight module you hear it, eh? sorry the owner came uh, So I put it on pause for a little bit. Again, you can see the codes here, but these are all the sensors. And then the trailer brake, which is the last one. battery voltage so uh, that and then we have yeah we've already done the transfer case so that concludes it for the computer scans um, we'll unplug it a little bit later we'll do a final walk around I'll turn off the engine I'll do a final walk around actually before I turn off the engine let me just show you something before we conclude I don't know if you can hear it but I do hear a rattle and it seems to be coming from one of the, the pulleys it is true these bolts have never been moved go and I'll pan out so you'll get a better view of the entire car and I'll get on on top as well We're about to take it for a quick test drive. If you notice this and this light are not the same. This cap is missing here. Some scratches on the inside of this window. Original windshield though. Original windows. All right. Well, this concludes this uh, pre-purchase inspection of this vehicle, 2013 F-250 Super Duty. It's a 6.2 liter and it's a gas. This has been Sedan from Car Inspected. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.